you know, with, within knowing what they could do and how Tress would sort of do a little thing, we definitely, I mean, I did anyway, I don't know if you did, John. Right, but also with celebrities, we got to work, as we got to work with like Jeff Bennett or uh, Corey Burton, you know, that their, their range was just amazing. And the number of people that they could imitate uh, was just fantastic. Yeah. So we would draw on that and try and use them. As and I, I just want to say that every time I left a vocal session, I would probably for the next two hours rant in a good way about how the people in that session are geniuses. They're geniuses. I just couldn't believe how many different characters they could do. Well, Julie and Steve, you know, we, Paul, John, and I, and a few others, we would write lyrics, but we, we had no idea what they were going to do musically. So Steve and Julie and Richard would do all the melodies for these songs that we just thought, wow, good luck with them. And uh, so they, they orchestrated and, and composed these songs, but also they, they knew the, the ranges for each actor, right? Which wasn't always easy because uh, Rob, Tress, and Jess are, have very different ranges. It was always sort of a puzzle to put, the, put it in now, the right range. Mean, when Bernadette Peters was coming in to do a song, what was that? What? Bernadette Peters. Oh, she was the character of Rita. Yes. And um, yes, I didn't have any trouble writing for her, her range. <laughs> that was fun. She could just hit any note you gave her, pretty much. Yeah, and it, you know, an amazing voice. As opposed to Slappy Squirrel, you gave her a song, she, uh, <laughs> she wanted to kill you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, working with the actors, working vocally with the actors was just one of the most fun things ever. Julie got to go to those parties, too. I never, I never got to go to those parties, but... Uh... Speaking of songs, I think it's time we, do, we as a crowd, do another sing-along oh, now. Yeah. We, now, many of you are familiar with Yakko's World, of course, but I think many of you, of course, know the most educational song is truly Lake Titicaca, yeah. written, written by Tom over here. So if, 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 if you would all like, I have on the, the screen, if you can get this up, the Lake Titicaca theme. So 